So now that we're using layout files, how do we deal with shared data that should be passed for every single page request? For example, if you're signed in, maybe it should say, welcome back, John Doe, right up here. All right, well, yeah, if you think about it, inside the sidebar, if I go to my home page, yeah, you could pass it here. So for example, I could say username, and of course, in real life, you would check if they're authenticated, but assuming they are, all right, well then, if you think about it, I'd have to go to my home view. We would have to accept it as a prop, so username is a string, and then I'd need to pass that to our layout component. So already this is feeling a little cumbersome. But yeah, this would be the manual way. And then down here, same thing, we're accepting that prop again. Finally, I can use it. So maybe something like, welcome back, username. And then finally, because we have a display of flex on this header, let's wrap this within a div and reformat. All right, let's have a look. And sure enough, we do see welcome back John Doe. Now actually, real quick, why don't we do display of flex, and then I will align the items to the center, and then finally on the paragraph tag, we'll make it text, I don't know, small. And then maybe a little margin left to push it away from the logo, quote unquote. All right, that should be enough. So if we switch back, you get the general idea. But yeah, you're not wrong. This is pretty cumbersome. We have to pass the data to your page component. The page component needs to accept it. And then it also needs to pass that data to your layout component. The layout component needs to accept it and only then can it render it. But here's the worst part. As soon as I switch over to the users page, we've broken it again, because then the users page would also need to pass through the username. And very quickly, you can see how this falls apart. Okay, so this is all to illustrate that it can be useful to provide shared data that's available to all components. And information about the authenticated user is a perfect example of this. So let's figure out how to do it. I'll start by getting rid of that data prop there, and then in home, I'll get rid of that like so, and then I'm basically just resetting what we already did. Okay, so now we're not passing any information about the current user. Instead, we're gonna do that as part of a middleware. Now you remember when we installed Inertia, we added, or Inertia added, a handle Inertia requests middleware. I think it's time to have a look at this. So if I scroll down, this is the interesting part. Define the props that are shared by default. And you'll see we have an empty array, which makes sense for a new project, but it does merge in any data from the parent method. So if I go on up, we can see, ah, so initially any applicable validation errors will be shared by default, which is why if I come back and take a look at view dev tools in the initial page, you'll notice that you always have information about the errors. Now you know why it's being passed automatically by inertia. Okay but we can add our own set of data. So if I set foo is bar and come back and give this a refresh, now I can access it here, foo is bar. And notice if I go to, let's say settings, give it a refresh, I'm still going to have access to foo. Okay, so incredibly convenient, but also at the same time, you need to be very thoughtful about this you don't wanna pass more data than you actually require. Because again, this is being shared for every request. Okay, so we could do that username thing, but it's also quite common to namespace it. And that's because you could imagine for, for another page on your site, at some point a username prop is being passed. And in that case, there will be a conflict, of course. So if we namespace it, and again, this is a common inertia convention, you might end up with something like this. The auth user, and then maybe username. And again, I'll hard code that to John Doe. Okay, this is looking good. So now think about it. Regardless of which page I'm on, I now have access to an auth prop that contains information about the current user. And of course, if you're building a Laravel app, you could do something like this, but, but you need to be super careful about this. Remember, anything you pass here is being sent to the client side. So if you have columns on your users table that you don't want the end user to see, uh, maybe information, uh, I don't know, maybe a token or 
information about their subscription status or notes or things like that, well, with what you have here, it's getting sent to the client side, which means they can see it if they want to inspect DevTools. So again, as a rule, only pass the data that you absolutely need. You can do this by being explicit, like we've done here, or you can leverage Laravel's API resources, and we'll have a look at that as well. Anyways, hard coding it for now will do the trick. So if I switch to my layout file now, again, I don't have to declare a prop or anything like that. I can access it directly off of the page component. Again, notice initial page. And we'll use page, which is a shared property that Inertia provides and gives us access to that initial page. Go into the props, go into auth, go into user and grab the username. And that should do it. So come back, give it a refresh, and sure enough, we see John Doe. And yeah, if that's confusing, remember, we're going right down the list there. Give me the page, then go into props, then go into auth, then go into user, and then go into username. Or don't forget, if you're going to be accessing this in multiple places, you could also have a computed prop. So for example, username would return, and same thing, page.props.auth.user.username. And just remember right here, it's squawking because we want to access it off of the current instance if we're using it here. Okay, so now you could bring this back to username and you're going to get the same thing. So that's an option as well. Give it a refresh. And now we get welcome back John Doe regardless of which page we're on. So what we have here is a very easy way to work with shared data.